What do you think is the next evolution? And where do you see jiu-jitsu kind of changing? And jiu-jitsu's going through its leg lock phase right now. Yeah. Or really, we'll say returning to the leg lock yeah. phase. Returning. What What do you think the, the next thing is? And what's it like being part of that constant change? Well, it's funny you say that. I was like, you know, cliche. History repeats yeah. itself, right? So just like the leg lock. I mean, leg locks have been around for a while. What changes is the athlete. You know, I think, I really believe, like, the athletes are getting, uh, I think I heard Hoist Gracie uh, say um, in one of his interviews, he's like, you know, the, the, the training is better today, the, the recovery drugs are good, the, you know, just the, the, the knowledge itself is better. Plus, you go back to, like, let's take leg locks. Like, we were doing leg locks back in 94. You know, heel hooks, it's nothing new. But what is new and interesting is different people's approach. You know, I always like, I never like count anything out. If I see somebody doing something, it's like, show me that. I always take the Socratic approach. It's like, I want to see what you're doing. Yeah. And you know what? What's different is like, oh, I'm keeping it tight here. I'm doing this. This I do for this body type. So it constantly evolves that way. Or it repeats back and we just clean it up a little bit. And I don't think, you know, everybody says, oh, you come from the old school. But you should never ignore the next. If that was the case, we wouldn't have these cameras. Yeah. You know, we'd still be horse and buggy, right? Yeah. So we, we can't ignore that piece of, uh, of uh, evolution, you know, but um, you got to respect both. You have to respect both. If you don't, then you're doing yourself a disservice, you know.